Hi everyone, how's it going? My name is Sergio and welcome to a new Anima 2D tutorial. In today's tutorial we will be bringing everything together that we've created in the latest episodes of the Animation Basics tutorial series and we will make our character move and make some cool animations. So first things first, uh, you will need to download my Unity package. You can find it down in the description below and it will provide you with a few scripts that I've written for this tutorial. Uh, two are for the movement and the input of the character and the other one is simply a camera to the follow uh, script which comes with the Unity 3D standard assets. So here's the first thing we need to do. Uh, we need to add the player input component to our character. So let's click on add component and type player input. This will add two scripts to your character game object. The player input script handles the input from the user and the movement takes care of moving the actual character. I will not get into how I made these scripts I will make a separate tutorial for that, but if you want to check them out, they'll heavily commented. So if you already have experience programming, you won't have any issues with it. So before we jump into actually uh, adding more components or the animator, let's uh, look at the variables we can change here. We have max speed, which will allow us to change the maximum speed of the character. We also have jump force, which will allow us to change how high he can jump. Air control, that checks if we can control the player while he's in the air. We're gonna check that. Then we also have what is ground, which is a layer mask type variable, so we can choose what layers are considered ground. We're gonna choose everything. We also have ground check, which is a reference to a transform. We don't have that yet, but we'll make it in a minute. And then facing right, it's uh, is not going to, it's not supposed to be changed. That's only visible for debugging prop purposes. Okay, so let's go ahead and create that ground check uh, game object that we need. So let's right click on the character game object and create empty. And we're gonna call it ground check. The name can be whatever you want. I'm just calling it ground check so that we keep things consistent. And let's drag it down and align it with our feet. We're also gonna need a rigid body as well as some colliders. You can choose whatever setup of colliders that you want to use for your character, but I will use a circle collider for the feet of the character and then a box collider for the body. So let's add a component. Let's type in rigid body 2D. And let's freeze the rotation on the C axis so that our character never tilts over. And we can collapse that. Then add component and let's type in box collider 2D. There it goes. And let's set that up so that it contains the head and the body of the character, like so. And now let's add component, Circle Collider 2D. And that one, let's drag it first a little bit to the right, then down. And then the radius to 0.3, seems good. They can collide, so they can be on top of each other, the colliders, that doesn't matter. Perfect, so we're also gonna need to add a script to the main camera, which will allow it to follow the player around when we are, when we are moving him. Actually, before I forget, let's drag the ground check onto the reference, there it goes. So let's jump onto the, to the main camera and let's add component and let's, let's type camera and let's select camera to d follow. We will need to set the target, so that's just going to be the character. So let's drag the game object and then save. And everything else we can pretty much leave it as we as is. I am going to drag down the camera a little bit and I'm going to reduce the size so that we can see it a little bit better. Now let's jump over to the cool stuff. So let's the way we're going to blend these three animations together is by using a blend tree. If you have used the animator before, you probably know what a blend tree is, but for those who don't know, it's just a clip like this walk, run, or idle, which has transitions coming out and coming in. 
only the blend tree uses a parameter to determine what animation is playing at the moment. This may not make sense right now, but when we are done making it, you're probably gonna understand it with no issues. So we're not gonna be needing these clips anymore, so let's delete those from the animator. Let's right click, create state from new blend tree. This will create a blend tree. It will also create a blend parameter. Since we don't have any parameters, it created a new one because the blend tree needs a parameter. Let's change the name of the parameter by double clicking on it and type speed with, the, uh, with a capital S. It is mandatory that it's called this way because the script references the parameters on the animator by, by name. So if you misspell it, it will not work. Let's jump over to the blend tree and by clicking on it, we can change the name in the inspector. I'm gonna call it locomotion. Let's double click on it and this will jump over to the blend tree layer in the animator. The blend tree will use the speed parameter to determine if we're playing the idle, walking or running animation depending on the speed of our character. We have the parameter that we want to use over here. If we were to have more than one parameter, you could choose whichever you would like to use. And then we have the motion list, which is just a list of all the clips. So let's click on the plus and add motion field. Since we have three animations, idle, walk, and run, we're gonna create three motion fields. So let's create the other two that we need and we can drag them from the assets tutorial animation window and put them in the same order as I do. Idle, walk, and run. This is important because otherwise, whenever you're, if you were to set the run first, whenever the speed is zero, he would play the run in animation and that's not what we want. If you drag the slider back and forth, you'll see how whichever animation is being played with that value will highlight. We don't need to do anything else over here other than adding a few more parameters to the animator. The two parameters we're going to add will not change anything. However, this will keep the scripts from throwing errors. The reason why we need those parameters is because in future tutorials, we will also add some jump and falling animations and we will need those. So the first parameter that we need is a float. We're going to call this float V speed with the S capitalized. And then we're gonna also add a bool, which is gonna be called ground. Okay, so after that has been done, let's test out and see what we have so far. To demonstrate how the blending works, I will be using a controller. That way I can control better how much speed the ca character is walking at or running at. So you can see right now we're playing the idle animation. If I am to move a little bit to the right he will start playing the walking animation a little bit and as the speed increases it will blend in into the running animation and there it goes we have a moving character as you can see we don't have yet a jumping and falling animations but that's okay we'll do those in a later tutorial so that was it for the tutorial i hope you liked it if you did give it a thumbs up if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for future tutorials, make sure you leave them in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.